Hey, it's Jeff at Gear Report, and we're going to talk now about the Anderson Manufacturing AM15. Uh, this is the AR15 variant for Anderson Manufacturing, so they call it AM15 lower receiver. This particular one we're looking at is marked as a 300 blackout caliber. Anderson sent us six of these, uh, configured as you see them here, mostly with the standard buffer assembly with the quick disconnect. It has the ambidextrous connections for a single point sling, as well as the stainless steel Anderson fire control group. We've removed that. This particular one has the hyperfire elite model, which is kind of the middle of the ground. A little bit of creep, but a very light trigger pull. I really like this trigger, actually. But I wanted to talk a bit about the Anderson Manufacturing Lower because a lot of people know them from the sale ads that you see. A lot of retailers, they'll sell this stripped lower receiver for $39, $49, $59, depending on what kind of sale you find. That is on the, um, I don't want to say cheap end, we'll call it less expensive end of what we typically see for an AR-15 lower receiver these days. There are people who equate price to quality and will avoid the Anderson manufacturing lower just because of the low price. What we have seen, we've done extensive testing. We've shot about 2,000 rounds through the different lowers we had. I'm gonna say probably 12, 1,300 of those rounds went through these Anderson manufacturing lowers. We didn't have a single problem with any of them. And I'm comparing this against a WMD guns lower against a JP Enterprises forged lower. All the lowers we're talking about today are forged lowers. So um, it did really well. Um, I don't, we, we didn't do a lot of critical measurements to validate that all the pin spacing is correct, the pin diameters are correct. We don't have the precision equipment to really do that to the level that I think is appropriate to be able to report on it. So we didn't even go that direction, but what I can tell you is from a functional standpoint, we didn't have any issues with how they operated. And removing the stock triggers and putting the aftermarket triggers in, it wasn't an issue. Everything seemed to line up well, seemed to be sized appropriately. Through all the shooting, we didn't have anything wiggle loose, so that kind of implies that the dimensions and how everything was manufactured was done pretty well. i got to tell you, we're pretty pleased with these. Jason is the armorer who set some of these up for us and he he's our most experienced AR person he looked over these he shot them he did some trigger installations and he said wow you know I'd been avoiding them because of price but I think the Anderson manufacturing I think their lowers are pretty good and I'm actually going to start using them for some of the builds that I do and I don't want to say he's really a lower snob because he's He's not holding out for the real high-end custom billet lowers that some people do. But, you know, he's looking for quality. He makes a lot of guns for law enforcement, and they got to work. He, he can't be selling something that uh, or building rifles that are going to have issues because of poor quality control or manufacturing. So after he put enough rounds through that he felt comfortable saying he would use Anderson Manufacturing lowers in some of his law enforcement builds, that was pretty meaningful to me. So I really want to thank Anderson Manufacturing. They stepped up to the plate big time for our big trigger review. Like I said, they provided six of these, two as pistol, two as multi-caliber, two as 300 blackout, and uh, we gave them a thorough workout. And, and I got to say, I'm pretty impressed with them. So Anderson, thank you. We really appreciate it. And uh, we, we've enjoyed these a lot. I have had no issues with them.